phone, and they're like, oh shit, like, I'm, I gotta get out because I have this baby, they're trying to use that, they're gonna use that as a victim thing, like, oh, you really gonna let a pregnant woman be in jail? That's the best place for you, man, because if you're on the streets, you're gonna be doing drugs, okay? So yes, you need to sit in jail so that baby can have a healthy pregnancy. At least you'll be able to eat healthy, like, you'll be able to eat three meals a day, you won't be putting drugs or alcohol or anything in your system, you know, you won't be out here, like, conning people and cursing this this child. Supernatural disturbance, okay, and you'll lose that supernatural disturbance you have sucked to you, too. Their goal was they tried to send some sort of entity to your finances, like, they're trying to affect your finances, to try to affect your, 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 um, your, your finances, they didn't want you to have anything. They stole from you, and then they didn't want you to have anything. Fucking scumbags. Now they have to withdraw. They're bent out of shape. That car just got bent. They're bent out of shape because now they have to quit. And somebody's in jail, pregnant possibly, and withdrawing. They realize there's evidence you're going to sue them, okay? There's evidence of them go like traveling to do this shit, all right? And now they're in danger. They know they're in danger. It's some sort of accident. Maybe somebody got pulled over. Maybe an accident happened or something on their way to do some bullshit. Now they're vowing to um, compromise with you. Possibly by giving you a gift, maybe a house, maybe it was already yours, okay? Yeah. You're about to get you're about to gain um, your truth and clarity, you're gaining everything back and whatever you're working on, your work and everything else. Now this person's put the fuck away, they can't they can't curse you, you broke a curse, you're gonna start gaining again. Okay, so if your finances were if whatever you do for work, like work started slowing up and like drying up on you, it's because of what they were doing to you. All right, and, and plus they had somebody whatever you do for work, like so if you have a on if you have a platform, for instance, they had somebody on the inside, like it's not the platform's fault. It's you know they paid somebody off in the that from the um from your platform okay so it's not the pl the platforms what's actually getting you bringing your justice they found out but they had to let things slide to do to do this investigation right they pulled somebody in from this a platform I'm showing picking up on a platform here um and also same thing with like this bank teller and everything else but they pulled somebody in and they're telling them everything that they've been doing now this person's locked up they're scared to death they're losing their job they're they're going to prison somebody's pregnant in prison. Somebody might be getting married, or somebody could have got married under your name, so they could steal from you. They know about this. The soul tie is now just completely disconnected, okay? You could be a reader. This that karmic reader that I told you about, that person, well, that reader that they at least, you know, that took that bribe, they have no relaxation, okay? At all. They're fucked. They they got kicked off their spiritual throne. And they look, they have no relaxation. They try to cause you some sort of illness or disease. They got a reading done, found out that they're not chill at all. They are gonna have no inner peace, no nothing. It's you know. And I'm telling you, if you're a reader, you predicted this. You predicted this or they got a reading done and they, they were working with a reader because you watch reading. So they thought that they could do this, like they could manipulate you because you would be stupid enough to listen to a reader telling you to go back to somebody. Fuck out of here. And they worked with more than one reader too. Possibly three, maybe more. And they're all telling on each other. They're living in a nightmare, okay? Darkness, okay? Suffering in darkness. They vowed to something very fucking dark. They've made a deal with the devil. Idiots. Thank you, sir. They didn't even realize they didn't. What do you think you're going to do when you're coming up against a divine fucking being? When you, First of all, you're supposed to be on your spiritual path. When you take a bribe from somebody to, to manipulate a reading or to, to do something like that or to, to make a fucking a fake-ass like um, organization to donate to people so that you can keep it, you really think that, what, what, how stupid are you? 
Now, whoever did that was never even divine to begin with, okay? That's just like a fucking dark witch. All right, now this is, yeah, your vow, your promise to have some sort of, like, reservation, but they were they were promised. Now they're going to prison. Some Maybe somebody had something to do with a car. Maybe somebody had a house. Maybe somebody was promised. Somebody was promised a house. Somebody was promised wealth. Somebody was promised a car. Whatever the reservation is, now, they, now that's all getting taken from them. They're going to prison. Somebody might gift you a house now. Somebody might gift you a car now. Or maybe this is all yours to begin with. Now they're all fighting with each other. Okay? They're all in despair. Yeah, I feel like somebody was promised a car. Somebody was promised a house. Like I said, there was probably like three readers here. But there's other people involved as well. There was like a bank tellers. There's so many people involved. They had a variety of people involved in this. And this is where they fucked up too because they had too many people involved. So that just leads more people to get caught up, right? Dumbasses. And somebody was promised like a lot of money. Somebody was promised a house. Somebody got a house. Somebody was promised a car. Somebody got a car. Like, you know what I mean? Now I just heard the wrath. They're here now. They're getting the wrath of God. Somebody could have got pulled over on their way in the car. Maybe they got pulled over on their way to do some fuck shit, and we got pulled over. It's like, yo, look, I'm gonna, uh, look, come here, come here. I'm gonna show you something right now. Yeah, they're not gonna be able to persevere through this ritual that they did to you. Okay, you you, you predicted this. Okay, they're trying to do a fuck with your memory, your mind, and everything else. Now they're stressed out. They're lacking sleep. Your stupid ass friends, whatever they fucking um, this whole network is. They're all done. It's, it's a wrap. This was not smart, y'all. Not smart at all. Yup, they're going to prison. You're getting good luck and fortune, okay? And some about checks, I'm telling you. you. Whatever goals you got going on, keep going, sweetheart, because something about the, what they signed off with a check, they checked that they, they, that they um, cashed to, like, I'm telling you, there's evidence of this. There's evidence of this. There's evidence that you don't do drugs and alcohol too, okay? They were overindulging in shit. Now they're not having any joy, no friendliness, no nothing, okay? They have no peace. Now this person's in jail with trolling, and they're which they need to be because they're fucking pregnant, dude. And somebody's in jail, they're withdrawing, somebody, and like, they're only thinking about getting out and getting high, right? Because they're withdrawing. So now they're telling her every fucking thing. I don't know if this is a reader, I don't know if this is a, if this is just, if this is a bank teller, or if this is just one of their fucking cronies, one of their many cronies. But somebody's in jail, and they need to be because they're pregnant, and they're withdrawing, and they want to, their goal is to get the fuck out, get high, which is crazy, bitch, you're pregnant, what the fuck is wrong with you? Remember I just said that the other day, about somebody's pregnant and they're getting high, you need to think about like, would you give that baby alcohol? Would you give that baby drugs? No. So why the fuck are you doing them when you're pregnant? Be responsible. You need your willpower. And that's another thing they're trying to affect is your willpower. So their willpower is on zero. Okay? They have none. And they're jealous and envious that you have willpower and they don't. And they're trying to take that from you. Okay? But now this baby is going to get taken from them too. There's evidence of them getting high with this baby too. Now, there's also somebody else that's a masculine that's in jail, that's withdrawing, that's trying to get out of prison. They don't want to be in there. There's a, there's a couple people locked up right now. I don't know if you know these people or these are just these other little cronies that they had all over the place. They had too many people involved. There were too many people involved. Now, they're getting bullied. There's evidence of them bullying you, gossiping about you, trying to embarrass you. Okay. Now they feel bad. Now they're scared. They're worried because everyone's going to bully them and everyone's gossiping about them or they're going to. They were bribed to do this to you. Okay? At your work. You know, on your online or at your work or something like that. And they're getting paid. There's evidence of them getting paid to do this, to harass you. Cyberbullying, that's federal charges right there if it's online. That's And, and also for go, and breaking into your devices, hacking your devices, doing all this other bullshit. You were getting paid good money to do this. You're going to prison. Now, how's that working out for you, homie? Was it worth it? Because you don't even have the money no more. Now you have to pay the money back at two. And also, you're going to prison for what you fucking did. Now you're withdrawing. They're bound to this now. Yeah. They're trying to do some sort of binding magic. That's fucking retarded. Somebody's going to get obstruction charges. Um, some about some sort of contract. Contract, okay. There's evidence of this contract of them trying to bully you, harassing you, getting paid to do this. You know, someone got paid a car, somebody there's a check that was signed written out to them. 
somebody was staying in a five star hotel. They were they're paying for a five star hotel for them. Idiot. You're getting good news, miracles. Okay, I forgot the answer. What's the outcome? You're getting some sort of encouragement, miracles, um, good news, surprise. This is going to hit the news. Whenever this happens, I don't know when it's going to happen, but when it does, it's going to hit the news. There's a lot of people involved. There's a lot of people involved in this, okay? You might see it on social media. I mean, it's going to be, there. this is a, a huge thing, okay? There's gonna, it's going to be all over the place. It might be, on the, it might be in the newspaper. I mean, if they, do they still have newspaper? What's the outcome, please? Thank you. Thank you. They're embarrassed and they're pissed off. They feel offended. They're, you know, they're hella mad. Yes. Now they're getting kicked out of that house, okay? And look, the donations. They had donations saying that it was probably for children or animals or you know, maybe they said they were pregnant when they weren't really pregnant and they really used it to get a house. Now they're gonna. Now they feel like a failure or cast away poor, and now they need. Now they really need people to donate to them, and they're not gonna get it. Maybe they were homeless, and that's why they're doing it. Or they lived with their parents, or they lived with somebody else, and they're like, "Oh, well, here, I'll, I'll give you a car, I'll give you a house, I'll give you money, I'll give you this, I'll give you that." You know, all you gotta do is, you know, do this, fake this read, okay? Start up this stupid ass organization, say that we're we're helping pregnant women that are incarcerated to get out, and we're we're an organization that's helping children, we're helping animals, we're helping veterans, we're doing this, we're helping people trying to get sober, and really. They're keeping the money, and they're they, you know, and they took that bribe. That was very fucking stupid. Don't you realize karma is very real, very much so real? Now they're pissed off. Connie is someone's name, but they were conning you. But like, I don't think that's a real name. That's a, it's a fake name they go by because they're conning you. See what I'm saying? Pay attention to the names. They're pissed off because you discovered this. You're not slow. Look here, Connie. They're, that's a, that's a name. It's either someone's real name, or that's what it's a name of the organization, or or whoever the organization's run by, the false organization. And it's like children or something. Maybe they're pretending like they're taking kids to daycare or or like um, camp or something like that. Oh, get these kids that are um uh, that are not privileged. You're gonna give them a better lifestyle. No, they're really buying cars and houses with this and shit. Oh, donate to these poor animals. You know they're sick. No, they're really buying a house and a car with it. You know, staying at five horse, five five star hotels, traveling the world. Okay, it's not a real profession. It's not a real organization. It's a fucking con. It's a scheme. Maybe they do this with their family. Okay, maybe this is what they they, they learn this from their their family. Possibly that's not an excuse either. You should realize that was fucked up. That's not right. They're pissed off, man, because they're going to hell for what they've done, without a doubt. They were promised all this, and this is what they're really going to get, is imprisonment, and fucking, they're going to need donations, and ain't nobody going to donate to them, because everyone's going to know. God's going to make sure this is on the paper, like, this is in the newspapers. Also, they're going to be on parole for what they've done, so when whenever they do get out, if they get out, depending on, because they're going to have conspiracy charges, they're having fucking, um... A RICO Act. So they're going to be in prison for a long fucking time. It was not worth it. Let me just tell you that. What's the outcome? They're gonna, I'm telling you right now, they're going to regret. They're going to regret. They already are regretting it. Yeah, this is a bad idea, okay? You're inspiring people. They're going to try and take your suggestion because I see that you're, you see your vision. You can definitely, someone's a seer. You see right through this. And I'm telling you, something about a child. Hold on. But the, their idea is now, they realize, look, they realize their idea was a whole fucking nightmare. They should have never did this. They should have never did it. <laughs> this was not a good idea. The idea was actually a nightmare instead of a dream. Now, yep, look. And now, they, they're trying to... Yeah, this was this badass idea, and whatever they try to send to you is going back to them and it's attack their third eye, okay? Their third eye is blind, and now they've been liberated from this.
What's the outcome? They're bound to this. Is that what that is? Yep. They're bound to this. They're committed to whatever this bullshit is. They're commit. They're bound to fuck imprisonment. They're scared to death. And also, there's a con like something about the whatever the check is. Their names on the check. Okay, the car. Some they're bound to this car now. There's evidence. There's so much evidence behind all of this. You're getting blessings though now. Okay, they're trying to do some sort of binding magic to you so they can steal your blessings. That's not happening. You're getting fulfillment, well-being, and enlightenment. Okay. And they're bound to whatever this is because their names on the fucking on the house confirmation. Their names on the house. Their names on like you know what I mean. They they took this bribe and it was actually I feel like the person that did this I feel like was an investigator. All right, and they're like yeah maybe maybe the, actually the house isn't really maybe it's really a cop. Maybe it was like oh yeah we got this house because they were already doing the investigation and then like yeah here we're a car sailor you know what I mean and or their names is on this you know it was all everything's being tracked their names are on this their names on the check that they cashed from this organization everything's being tracked they're bound to this they're fucking stupid how do, could you possibly and i remember i told you this a while ago that somebody was conning people doing some dumb shit like this that be careful like they're trying to portray themselves something to do with children or animals or something it's coming out they're idiots what's the outcome one more for the outcome please thank you thank you this was not a good idea. Yeah, this is fated to happen. You could be a reader. There was a reader that their third eye went blind because they took that bribe. They, they're trying to blind your. They're trying to blind your third eye. That's not happening because you're a reader. If you're a reader, now this reader's third eye is blind. Yeah, it's fated for them to need. They know they someone's passing away. And they know it's an ending to their that the readers any of the, I feel like there's three readers. That were bribes, maybe more, and they took the bribe. And these three readers, now two or three of them, are going to now lose their gifts and abilities. They're going to lose their 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 platform. They're going to lose their gifts and abilities. They're all going to need you know a charity, and they can't get it. Okay, and this charity is ending. Look, this charity is coming to an end because it was fake. Because the light's being shined on them. And now that they actually need charity, they're not going to be able to get it because they made a fake ass charity. Somebody could have even made a charity, okay? So maybe somebody passed away, and like maybe your your loved one passed away. They could have had like a, a GoFundMe for you, and then like for your family member. They kept the money, and didn't tell you anything about it, and didn't even have a funeral for your loved one. I resonate heavily with that one. This bitch that killed my father did the same thing. Went and got a GoFundMe, and never even had a funeral for my father. Bitch. And it's only imagination that they're ever going to end you if you're a reader or, or your gifts or your abilities are trying to make you go. If you're a reader, they're trying to close your third eye. They're trying to do some sort of mind magic too. And um, this is a reader that, remember, I've been telling you guys, protect your energy anytime watching any reading, whether it's personal or whether it's um, whether it's a, a – so you don't even have to be a reader, okay? It, you could just spend – I've been telling you to protect your energy even if it's a, a collective reading and to call your energy and your power back to you because this reader too, the one that got the house, she does magic, okay? He or she does magic over their platform, and they steal your blessings. And I feel like they even said it one time, like something slipped up where I feel like there's even a reading where like, oh yeah, all your blessings will go to, and she's like, oh, it will go to me, something like that. She slipped up. Pay attention closely to their fucking words and call your energy, your power, your gifts, your abilities, everything back. And they're pissed off because the light's been shining on them and they're bound to all this shit because their names are attached to this car, to the house, to the fucking checks, everything else. They thought they were so slick because they didn't have it in their name. They had it under a fake fucking name. They thought they were cool. That they thought that nobody would ever see this. They they thought that like the authorities were gonna were stupid or something. No. First of all, God's not stupid, and there's nothing stupid about the feds, the CIA, ATF, or any of them. There's nothing slow or stupid about them. It was only an imagination that they were ever going to curse you. And they did a variety of curses, okay, to a variety of people. And there's three, possibly three readers, two or three readers that are losing their gifts and abilities, and somebody's actually going to be passing away because they were doing death magic on, on you and the, the readers as well. Protect your energy, protect your gifts, protect your blessings, okay, protect your wealth. Protect everything. Call your energy, your power, your, your gifts, your abilities, everything back to you after any fucking reading, please. 
And this person probably is like, like when, when they do personal readings, they charge out the ass. They don't do cheap readings, I feel like. I feel like because this person just so fucking greedy, right? This person just so greedy. Their, their personal readings are through the roof. Like, why, why is it so much money? You know what I mean? First of all, like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, you have to be paid for your, 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 um, you know, for your time and stuff, but not that much money. And it's, and I feel like they're giving bogus ass readings anyway. They probably don't even show you the fucking cards. They might, I don't know. Pay attention to the cards, y'all. Pay attention to the cards that come out. That's why I only take the cards that you, you literally see flying out. There's no reason you don't have to fuck. What do you need to see me for? You don't have to see me. You know what I mean? You need to see what I'm talking about, what I see. The fuck you need to see me for? No shade to anybody that shows themselves, but you know what I mean? Pay attention. Now, I'm not saying all the readers that don't, that show them. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying they're karmic, but I'm saying pay attention. Because there are some readers that do that, okay? There are some readers that don't even show anything that are good readers, okay? They just have stage fright, okay? But just pay attention. Pay attention. Because if they're karmic, they'll slip up. Pay very close attention to what they say, how they react. The names is very important. Very fucking important is the names. Names of organizations that you're donating, the people that are running the organizations, they're going to tell on themselves in one way or another. One, because they have this fucking big ass ego that they think that like is cute and funny because they're conning you and they're not, and they really think it's funny to make it into the name like they're blatantly telling you up front. Pay attention, y'all. Protect yourself. Protect yourself, please. The shit irritates the bloody piss out of me. Something about bloody. What the hell? Why did I say that? I don't ever say that. Somebody could be pissing blood? What the fuck? Like I said, their health. They're, they're trying to say something about injured animals or injured children. Something like that, right? So they're going, or injured veterans, okay? Um, something like that. Or maybe like pregnant pregnant children or something like that. Or whatever. Or people that are, something like that, okay? So that's going to happen. Somebody's pissing blood. That's not good at all. That's really not good. Maybe somebody speaks like that. Maybe what what is what what is that bloody when they say oh you bloody fool or something like that? Is that English or something? I don't fucking know. Is that the UK or something? I don't know. Um, but I never say that. So that's like someone's ancestor. That's like something that's coming out here. Pay attention, y'all. Please protect yourselves. I can't fucking stand this beef, dude. I really can't. Especially somebody that uses, like, children, animals, veterans, like, you know what I mean? Stuff like, you're a fucking piece of shit for that, dude. Especially because they, they do it because they know it pulls on your heartstrings. You know what I mean? And it fucks it up for people that actually, you know, need the help that, that you know, because then you're like, well, do I, do I, you know what I mean? But then you just gotta look more into it, okay? And they'll even, I feel like they possibly even, like, show you pictures, but they just look things up online, and they show you a picture, like, oh, yeah, this is who you're sponsoring. they never seen that fucking animal a day in their life. they never seen that child a day in their life. They're just Googling, oh, um, sick kids in Africa, or something like that. Africa could be significant, you know what I mean? They'll, they'll, they'll just Google it. You'll probably Google, Google it, and they're like, injured animals animals or something like that, injured children or or after, something like that, whatever you're whatever you're gonna donate to, you'll probably get the picture that they send you. It's probably the first one that pops up. They're not even crafty about it. Because they think that they're gonna get away with it and they don't give a fuck. But until it's too late and now it's too late. Protect yourselves, y'all please protect yourselves. And they're stupid for thinking this is a year karma. They're going down for this. And their names are attached to the to the house. Their names are attached to to the vehicles, to the checks, everything else. They're dumb. To their, you know, to their uh, plane tickets, you know, everything else. That you know, the five star hotels that they're spending on your finances, whether it was from the inheritance they sold from you or from the fucking cons that they they they've been conning from these these people that they've been having donating to them. Now they're really going to, since they wanted to play God like that and want to play God's people and play people in general and really steal from people, now they're going to have to need that and no one's going to fucking donate to them because their name's going to be on everything. Their pictures are going to be plastered up, okay? Okay, maybe I just see like a milk carton. Maybe they're saying, oh, we're helping, like looking for missing children and stuff like that. And they're conning people, dude, because it'll really pull on your heartstrings. You see what I'm saying? Be mindful, y'all. Please be mindful. I'm telling you, pay attention. 
And I'm not telling you to not or donate to organizations. No, definitely do. Help one another. We're supposed to. But look more into the organization that you're donating to. Because they're like, I donate to, to you know, to the veterans and stuff like that. I, I do all that stuff. Like, you know what I mean? But look more into it before you go. You know what I'm saying? But see, maybe that's why the God will have his earth angels. Because how you play an earth angel is, ha is like, you know what I mean? Is how you get your fucking karma. If you treat an earth angel good, then you're going to get good karma. If you treat them bad, if you rip off or rob an earth angel, you're, you're going down. That business me. So maybe it's destined for you to go donate to a shady ass business like that. And then when you do, okay, you just played an earth angel. So now God's going to come take this organization down. And I feel like maybe that's what happened. So maybe it was all divinely orchestrated for that to happen. Because you gave your time, your energy, your money, your effort, you know, your heart, you know, into, into this fake ass organization. Now they're getting shut down. See what I'm saying? All right. Um, uh, charcoal, charcoal light, charcoal, or whatever this is. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Uh, suffering from a heartache or a toxic relationship. This will help you connect to what you real what what the real you needs and help you realize that you are allowing toxic energy in causing emotional home or uh, uh, harm emotional home emotional home um emotional harm this stone will let go of that toxic energy see because that maybe they like i said somebody did it for a man all right they're realizing this is a toxic behavior they did this in a toxic relationship it could be even family maybe it was a family business that they were doing all right whatever the situation is they need this fucking crystal because they realize they're letting toxicity into their home into their their lifestyles by doing this Obsidian, and I said obsidian earlier. I said that earlier. Obsidian stones are protective stones. Black obsidian is known to be the strongest. The stone allows you to be protected from incoming negative energy in daily life. Holding it, holding it briefly above the third eye each morning during meditation creates a positive shield around you. This is obsidian right here. The black crystal. This is obsidian. Satellite, satellite, or satellite, satellite, satellite. All right, this beautiful soon enhances meditation and opens the spiritual plane, making it easier for you to understand and explore. When you are in deep meditation, satellite promotes self acceptance and trust in your actions that follows you in ev in your everyday life. Green evergreen, okay. This very powerful stone is known to promote positivity. When held close, this green stone can stimulate creativity and open your mind to a new, fresh outlook on reality. Green epigreen is also a calming stone stimulating emotional healing. Amethyst. Okay. Also known as... This is amethyst right here. Um, also known as the guardian stone, it is a very powerful protector and kind of negative and any kind of negative energy directed towards you is blocked by this ancient stone. Used when meditating, amethyst brings calmness to the mind and helps with decision making. Amethyst. Yeah, and you have some strong freaking ancestors protecting you, okay, that are protecting you. From any of this negativity, okay? You have God protecting you first and foremost. Let's just put that one out there, okay? They fucked up. I think they're going to come up against one of God's people. You, Especially now that you're in your purpose or on your way there. Especially, that's why I'm always urging you guys. For those of you like, who are on your way to your purpose, but you're not, you know, you're not fully there. That's why I keep urging you to do it. Because once you get into your purpose and you, you pass the initiation spot, like you get initiated in, you prove to God that you're not going to back down when times get rough and while they're attacking you. And you're proving that you got the job. Like everything speeds up. Because you're working for God, so God's working for you. You feel me? God's still working for you, you know, even when you're not. But, like, God's, you know, really starts going overtime for you. You know what I mean? Like, he's going to put more in. He's going to put more love and, and protection in everything and work through through somebody that's working for him over somebody that's not. You feel me? Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Lovers have passed away. Um... You have any messages for the question, please, Thank you. You are the light of the world. Yes, you are. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Jesus.
focus on your priorities, okay? When you put your focus is where, where you put your focus is where you receive your outcome. Your priorities are calling to you, which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them the time and attention they and you deserve. Even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident. Okay? Thank you, Spirit. Dreams of abundance. As you sleep, God, your angels, and your higher self are um, are giving you divinely guided ideas, answers, and solutions. Be sure to record your dreams in a journal because they contain valuable insight that will help you manifest your desires into reality and confirmation. All right. But if you're doing a dream journal or whatever, and if you live with people, make sure you're locking your dream journal off, okay, so nobody steals your downloads. Because if, if you feel like you need to, okay, because some people do suspect shit and they try to steal your downloads, so just not telling you makes sure if you want to yeah, do it. Because when you're writing stuff down to it, it makes it come into fruition. Use a blue pen, okay, because blue is for protection and actually helps you manifest quicker, okay? Your blue, use blue pen, trust me. You are the light of the world, Matthew 5.14. Yes, you are, my darling. Matthew could be someone's name or Matthew could be someone's last name. Uh, May 14th is significant. Exercise to increase your energy and manifestation abilities. The key to manifesting quickly is to have very high energy levels, and the easiest way to increase them is through physical exercise. Choose a fun and meaningful activity so that you'll look forward to exercising, and it becomes its own reward. Absolutely. Okay. The Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. John 14, 26. Someone say for me, John, Jonathan, Johnny, John, John, Jojo. Okay. <laughs> Whosoever shall be, ha, shall do the will of my Father, which is in heaven, the same is my brother and my and sister and mother. Matthew twelve fifty. So if you're doing the will of God, if you're working for God, God's working for you. Like I said, and you are family, and you are obviously God taking care of His family. Abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the, in the present moment. And that is what you will experience. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, I'm going to be here. Um, I'm getting antsy. I'm sitting here for too long. How long have we been here for now? Uh, damn, two hours and 12 minutes and 45 seconds? Well, damn, yeah, these last two readings have been long. But hey, they're very important. You see what I'm saying? They're long, but they're very important readings. Um, so yeah, until next time, time flying by too quick. Wow, time keeps on ticking, ticking into the future. All right. Um, until next time, remember God loves you. So do I. Spread love, not hate, always. And please, not forget to give God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away the utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation for all that you do in our lives. Because I'm moving out in front and getting ready to rain down miracles. And please, if you did not hit that like button yet, please hit the like button. Please hit share. Please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on all, so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys. And if you like to do it, you do not have to. It's not perfect requirement but it is truly appreciated the information is in the description box down below and thank you from the bottom of it with all of my heart I head on to anybody and everybody who's